Hey, what's up, Dawkin fam? Welcome back to All the Hermanity. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to boost the super attack of Wrathful Saiyan, Super Saiyan Broly, and I'm going to show you how to do it two different ways without having to use any Elder Kai's. But before we get started, as always, if you enjoy my content and you want to raise those Spirit Bomb Luck levels, click that subscribe button and also be sure to click that notification bell so you never miss a new video upload from me. And I will be doing a few account giveaways this weekend and you're not going to want to miss those. So definitely click that bell. All right, so this is the unit that we're all going after right now. I mean, Gogeta is pretty cool too, in my opinion. Broly is the better of the two units. And if you pulled him, you're in luck because you can raise his super attack right now for free using drop units from two different events. And obviously, to raise his super attack, he's got to be in this state, okay? He can be UR'd if you want to UR him, but he still has to be Wrathful Saiyan, Super Saiyan Broly. If you TUR'd your unit, you're going to have to use a reverse metal and get him back to his original state. But Endless Evolution of the Warrior Race, Super Saiyan Broly, Movie Bosses Category, Key plus 3, Attack plus 170%, HP and Defense plus 150%. And then he also does the same exact thing as a full power category lead. The only difference is his defense is 20% lower. It's only 130% boost uh, for his HP and def defense versus the 150%. His super attack greatly raises attack for one turn and causes supreme damage to all enemies. So if you're looking for a new AoE unit, I'm pretty sure when the next world tournament comes, you're going to be seeing a lot of Broly leads. And I'm very excited about that because I'm going to be running a killer team for the world tournament when it comes around. And then his passive skill, key plus 6, attack plus 130%, and defense plus 100%, and he will transform when conditions are met. And those conditions are very easy. Transform into full power state starting from the fourth turn from the start of battle. And when he transforms, I mean, first of all, the animation is amazing. Every super attack for Gogeta in the new Broly is absolutely amazing. Take a look at his super attack. Causes immense damage to enemy and massively lowers defense. That's going to come in handy in Super Battle Road. And then his passive skill obviously gets a huge boost as well. Key plus 8, which is insane. Attack plus 188% and defense plus 120%. And he launches an additional attack that has a high chance to become a super attack. So all around, this man is just unfreaking stoppable So how do you boost his super attack for free? Well... You're going to have to go to the event that's out right now and start grinding out Saiyan Outcast Broly. Now, this is one of the two ways that you can do this. In my opinion, this is the hotter of the two ways. So I want to show you this one first. Now, in order to grind out Saiyan Outcast Broly, you have to do stage two of the new Broly event, which is Planet Bampa. And if we go over to the game real quick, um, there are ways to do the event to boost your chances of getting additional drops. So right now... If you do a full movie heroes category team, you can get a 215% chance if you grab as many allies as possible. So obviously I have LR Gogeta as my lead for fusions. I have LR Great Saiyan Man 1 and 2. I have LR Goku Super Saiyan 3. And then obviously an LR Gogeta friend as well just to get the fusions boost because I'm running um, a Gogeta here and I'm using him for fusions obviously. So... This is the team that I'm using to maximize my boost, and I'll get anywhere between three to four drops pretty much every single time. So grinding this unit is very easy. Now, the part that makes it difficult is that in order to get a 100% chance increase, you have got to TUR this Broly unit. So let's go to training really quick. Let's click on Fizz Broly. Let's click on training partners. And you'll see down here right away, if I go all the way down, these units aren't even available yet, okay? So you have to go from SSR to then UR to then TUR just to get that increase. But once you do, you can grab the TUR version of this unit, which is this guy right here. And it's Fury in Battle Instinct Super Saiyan Broly. And it will give you a 100% chance. But it's a bit of a grind. So let's go to let's go to Awaken, all right? So if we were to do all these Awakenings, first you have to train this Broly to max out his level. So it's going to cost Zenian trading items. Then you got 50 Dr. Jero medals, which is a lot. I'm a whale. I have tons of medals. I buy them all the time. 
And man, trying to TUR these units wiped me right out. I was actually pretty pissed about it. Um, then we need 20 of Master Shen, 10 uh, Kami medals, 3 damn West, West Kai. I gotta like make a little cheat sheet. Yeah, West Kai, and then 1 Elder Kai. So... A lot of Elder Kai medals, a lot of Dr. Shiro medals, and then the other ones, you tend to usually have a pretty good stash up. Once you do all of that, it's going to get him to the UR level, okay? So that's going to UR this unit. And then once this unit is UR'd, I have one down here, obviously you're going to have to train him to max out his level. But then in order to get him to the TUR level, you need 20 of these medals from the event. Now... Getting 20 of these medals and having to do it nine times, that's a lot of medals. It's 180 medals, okay? Even with a 215% drop rate, all right? Um, I think it's stage 10. Let me see real quick. Nope, stage 9. So you have, no, stage 8. So you go to stage 8, guys. You got your team. You get a 215% boost, endless, ev endless evolution. Come time today. <laughs> Endless evolution. And even when doing this event with 215% chance, you're only getting four, maybe six, as low as two to three medals every single time. So it is going to take forever and cost a lot of money, um, a lot of medals, a lot of Elder Kai's just to do this. In my opinion, it's not the best way. Now, the other way you can do it is you can grind out Lurking Fear Broly, which is this unit right here, which if any of you have LR Broly, STR LR Broly, this is the unit that you grind it out to boost his super attack. However, the good thing here is it's also 100% chance. It's not a 50% chance like it was for LR Broly. But in order to get Lurking Fear Broly, you have to go to his event, which is the original event, if you guys remember. So let's go back to the game. Let's go to home. Let's go to event, and then we'll go to challenge, and then we're just going to scroll all the way to the bottom, because it's the very, very first event. Damn, there's a lot of events now, huh? So Berserker of Destruction, and then you have to go to stage one, Prolong to Ruin, and then you have to do Z Hard Stamina 10. So it doesn't cost a lot of stamina. However, the drop rate for this unit is freaking garbage, okay? The drop rate is so low on this unit, However, you will get lucky and get two at a time sometimes, but overall, you're still going to get nine of these lurking fear Broly's way faster than you could ever grind out 180 of those medals from the other Broly event, T-U-R, the Int Broly. So in my opinion, this is much better to do. And then what's going to happen is as soon as you get this unit done, you're going to have to T-U-R him and you're gonna have to turn him into Unleashed 4 Super Saiyan Broly, and this is the unit that you're gonna use for that 100% chance increase. And just so you guys know, there is another Dokken for this unit that came out when Super Saiyan 3 Broly came out, so you can turn him into a Reoccurring Nightmare Super Saiyan 3 Broly, which I think is a really awesome unit. I'm a huge Broly fan, I have every Broly unit, so I have this one too, I have the other one I just showed you, I get them all. <laughs> so let's go to trading and go over the medals that you need really quick. So let's go to Awaken. So we got Lurking Fear Burly. All you have to do is max out his level when he's at the SR state. 20 Bubbles medals, 10 uh, Mutado medals, five Grand Elder Guru medals, and then one East Kai medal. So that's all it takes. As soon as you do that, you're gonna get him to the SSR level. Once he's at SSR, you're going to have to awaken him to the Super Saiyan Broly, so it's going to cost only three Berserker of Destruction medals. Now, what's so great about this is you go back to the event I just showed you, and to get these medals, you're going to get seven at a time, all right? So you do the event once, you get seven medals, and you're able to dock in two of these units, all right? It's so much faster to do it this way. But as soon as you dock in this unit, obviously he turns into the one I just showed you, which is Super Saiyan Broly, Unleashed Force. And then once you get Unleashed Force, Super Saiyan Broly, you're going to have to get him to uh, the UR state. And in order to do that, you need 50 Gregory medals, 20 Mutado medals, 10 Grand Elder Guru medals, 3 East medals, and then 1 Supreme Kai medal. So, in my opinion, it's much faster and easier to do it this way. Gregory medals are a dime a dozen. They're always popping up. If There's, there's two medals that I'm always getting too much of it's freaking Gregory and Bubbles so 
this is definitely gonna be the way to do it if you wanna max out your Fizz Broly. And if you don't have Fizz Broly yet, why not just start grinding this unit out right now and just get nine of them and have them ready to go. And just let the game know you're ready, which is basically what I did when it comes to Badok. I have like 20 friggin' AGL Badok dupes waiting to go into LR Fizz Badok. So fingers crossed that that happens sometime soon. <laughs> but guys, I cannot wait to take this Broly on a test run and just put him through the ringer on Super Battle Road this weekend once I get him docking. I got one dupe in him, his bottom right path is open. It's gonna be a bloodbath. <laughs> so if this video helped you, please show that docking love, smash that like button, and for more great content, make sure you click subscribe, and again, turn on that notification bell. And as always, more good stuff coming soon. See you guys.